You know, recently a friend of mine and I were talking about a situation in a local church. It seems the worship leader, a godly man with more talent than you can imagine, and someone who built one of the strongest music programs in the country, was asked to resign. Not because he sinned or neglected his duties. No, he was asked to step aside because he didn't have the look the leaders desired on stage. I know some of you find that hard to believe, but unfortunately it happens more often than anyone wants to admit. Some leaders think it is necessary to have perfect singers with perfect bodies leading worship. Well, it may help in the short term, but it hurts in the long term because perfect people aren't who God uses. No, our Lord uses imperfect people who are dependent totally on Him. Do you remember when the disciples gathered in the upper room before the day of Pentecost? Do you remember who was present? There was Peter who denied Christ three times. James and John were there. Remember how they wanted special seats in the kingdom? And oh, by the way, Thomas the doubter was there along with Matthew, the former tax collector who, like others, cheated people. And don't forget the half-brothers of Jesus were present. And if you recall, they thought, according to Mark 3.21, that Jesus was insane at one point. Yet these imperfect people, people with failure and sin in their past, were the people our Lord used to fill with the Holy Spirit and give birth to His church. So today you may feel pushed aside because of your appearance or something in your past. Don't be. Just remember, God only uses obedient, imperfect people. I'll see you tomorrow.